achiria erindi byokundenga kandi kandi ne byokunsasa chiria muriye jinsi ori oyo muniko no ya yesu Tajira chatina Kandi kanda mungu Uri ya mungu Amaru aruku Noye Yesu Yesu unji Rawanje Kanda wafe Yesu obire obire kurishesha Yesu na omwi guru ori omomikono ya Yesu tajira chati na kandi All of us standing to Chemerire to Zakwachira Dinuitu at Heyo Aruhanga. To Isaguma Stager is Omer is one core, Konkem Corona is a Gumizamu, Kanshabe, Munuan Waitu, Munuan Wanyu, Reverend Canon Gashom Kamondo, Aijaha, Aherese Yosavi Seji, 
omekono ya rhanga haza byona bigendeje twino mukono gwamani okurga rhanga haleluya amen katwe cureze twehe yo mu mukono ya nyamuhanga atwangane atwe chamanike twaba ntwe sima na sima mkama awa magara ga joyisi urugendo rwa mugende iso munsomu bamunywano we George Nebi chonche vya wa heire Na wanywana babo Awajwe chela vya inja wa teja Kuija kumuri za ekeji Mwe msia mtamayani Mkama rangata teitwe Umhanju yugu neso watu hangire tuena Ntuenda kusima hawa kutubasa kuija Awarge nshonda nenshonda hei inahare Kuija kuata nsa nekeji Okuyushka Nokusima Ahabwa magara gajoisi Ntukushabangu wa meisho gaitu Nebiteka teko tubihasha andu keje tujuwa meisho Tugata hari yi owa tuile joisi somu nsomu Mkechi choncho Kanda utule vile miaka minji Kanda kuhere ize Omuihangeri Omakaje Umatende chero nomi anye tari emwe Itu musha anjire maka tuheleza Yeware mukama Yemiake yomuri nzire Yerukure ngonu Makumu mukaga na mjienzuwe Yeware Okumuhe chuo nchocha magara Yemiake yomuri nzire Yemiake yomuri nzire Yemiake yomuri nzire Yemiake yomuri nzire Kukuko kawo muri nzi Wawo muwe nzi Wawo muhumza Wen hati tuija hakuonjara kuota magarage nubu hera zawe urunjo monsomo rukundo ye yambaba zese ofsasra kwe nebi ndi bichoncho ving nebi tuija kuselebrate ingo mje rizo nato kshava manegawe utoele tujere chitoa yega ahamzana wa wogo na hakayona. Kushawo zirike yo ya umweko Gwamani Gumbase Kwela mwanu wabu jurisi Habana, wanyabuzari Na wanyamukagwa wari ya hatuena Mwakamu tuwele zo kusima Mwanya wukutonzi ya Yoi sasasiri Kwankata harintu mamu tachura usasi Mweni ito wari yomunsi Habachiri yomunsi Izobe lobe nitu wa yejesa Okumanyo kutushemire kujienda Natukwe ya siga Natukwe ya tombiru kuturema Liroka basa kutushemu siya Omiyake yo chitu inomu nsomu kuhereza Mwenu saavi viseji yona tuwa jitomi mikono ya umkama Awe shongozi Awa shombebi chweka Omgambora tu gambere chigambo choku tumuriza choku nywana sebera ba habion. Aba gamba ba zako juzi amzana wa we baruku manya. Nevi ndevu taki yushka omoywa tu yusi. Atuje sokuru jira ha urunji kubu turahuri. Bueno sabi soji tanke. Ojebe mbelo jisi amheru. Kanda kutula zeyo kurga hatu tuara makura gal kujangu. Joi si ata ha. Tuina maskungu tu ya mureva. Kuturugu mantuku ya siga ntuku manya Nutuwe teisa Nturaji na bajenzibe ito mso Abatake izile mkama ntuwa shabira Gubahira zuri jendoru unjo wa siya hanu usinji Kande mchaya weyone wala se mkutereza Yaba nyanjula yaba numsha na vyona vitukoriri Yaba kwa vyona viru gahari iwe Yaba vyona viru gahari iwe Yaba vyona viru gahari iwe Kwa nke viru unji vyona viru tuendeza vitikawo Mwene mbaba zawe sreche Echiti nsacha wechirebu wa mwanyogu Ebe ndale ya usingu zimukamo jitimba Rufetu ntumuke kwa ataka chiro Tujene ntendeza ntumangu Oka singu na nkoku tulio mbira vyo kuhishu kukusiba Kwa we Nwa ufa kubi nwa wana wana Nwa uzwe uzwe na utegwe na chichi na chiri Ngo kawa sa kufero msisi Kukuturu kuhishuka Yerumu iha umutamanya Umuzizomu shana 
wa misho gawe mukama tujye tikena ha celebrating okufa no kuzoka kwawe rero tuzore turwo mu kibikenseyi tumanye ngo amagara rwo makuru kuturwa twaje mu musomo turi yagumana ibyo birubyono usimo himsi bwa habwe 15 sa byono bikoreje aha bwa Yesu Kristo mukama wito twazaguma twemerire nebgambo byo kutamya owishe mu Reverend Paul Reverend Paul ebga byo kutamya twino butabo bwa out of service buryo mu rujungo bukozere Kampala konkan tuzaguma tujwanzia orinyankure na no rujungo uh, both languages will work for us Paul ebga mu byo kuhumuriza on page 4 in our out of service books and for those of you abine ebitabo byitu byo kushaba urupapura rwa bibiri inshanje na mwenda our lord jesus christ said i am the resurrection and the life he who believes in me though he dies he shall live and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die we brought nothing into the world and we take nothing out the lord gives and the lord takes away blessed be the name of the lord god is our refuge and strength an ever present help in trouble the steadfast love of the lord never ceases his mercies and compassion never come to an end they are new every morning for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life also paul wrote to the romans saying for i am sure that neither death nor life nor angels nor rulers no things present, no things to come, no powers, no height, no depth, no anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. According to our order of service books, we go together in that prayer, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, in your Son Jesus Christ, you have given us true faith and a sure hope. Strengthen this faith and hope in us all our days that we may live as those who believe in the communion of sins the forgiveness of sins and resurrection to eternal life through jesus christ our lord amen reverend docas ya toranwa abo mukorogu ne yabirnishatu abine ebitabo byo kushaba ne shangwa ahar papro rabishatu 18 mukaman wo murisa wanje tindike na kintu chona ambyamya omwirisizo ryo byansi buto atwara ahar bajurwa meizi agarukshineneka agaraman omagara ganje anyebembera omuhanda yo kwishikirira aha bwizi narye no bundiraba umuruhanga rwe kibunda cyo kufa tindi tina kabikona aha kuba urahamwe nanyi urugarwawe nenko ni yawe bimpumuza ontebekana sa emeza umisho gabazi gubanje oshka amashta aha mutwe ekikopo cyanje kijire nicesheka buzimazima oburundi nembabazi biryagumananye ebiro byona ebyamagaraganje Nanye ndi aguma omunji ya mukama ebiro nebiro HT nsa HT nsa cha weta teitwe no mwana no moyo rukwera ko kuchabe cyo mutandika natu kokiri kandi kokireba ebiro byona amina katushitame shemirwe cyeka Reverend Gordon is taking us through the reading We shall sit down and I shall use the Nyankore version from 2 Timothy chapter 4 and we shall begin with verse verse 6 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 6 I shall read in Runyankore version Paulo okugamba akufakwe akuba mwe nunyowe ndehehi kutamga mkempongano yebjo kunywa eshwa ahitambiro kandi ubona kuganje ngo kurwo munsi gwirere hihi ndwe ino kugwana no kurunji 
imperizo rugendo rwanje ndenze ro kwikiriza eki sigeire mbikirwe kirunga cyo kwikirira eki mukama omucwe manja oyikire arimpa hakirecyo kandi tinye nyenka kurekana bona abari abari kukunda okugaruka kwe nakire kigambo cha mukama haleluya kasti rumunga ri kigambo cha mukama munonga abo kuba a uh, owishemwe professor chuguru kwashiraha nyumwa baziyo as we are receiving the a plus and the body uh, this man did encourage us a uh, kwabe na gamba ya jati owishe mo joyce ajire kutura na rahanga haleluya nabo cyo kigambo cyo kitanikira mana aha kanda mani agombiri twage ita twagira mana go mwoyo haleluya so atobutyo no enzura rwe negwa kana no kamondo ya jangwe nsi ya yona na ya rahanga ni mango haro mu busitizi haro busitizi bwembeho aheru kano teta mu busitizi bwo jangu nanka joyce ya kusigonga hatte mu butagasi ubwa rahanga twaza kwimusiyanga rozito twaza kwimusiye mikono yitu nakanwa kitu twatendereze je ibakweta international anthem eye kitenderezo owishemwe jack twe e oyemerere kanwe jack na yemerera bo kuba aina mani twaza kutendereza Dere tuwa yatira Aba sikazibitu Aba bari yao ba MC Ba tuwa rumo chweke chindi Ahari yechu Kwa mkoro foru Ni mishani Rahanga Azahi guri yebi indi vjona Hallelujah Praise the Lord Praise Him Aha Ya mkono wa mkono ahi guru Praise the Lord Praise Him Kote Tendere za Yeso Yeso re Mwana kwandega Yeso Omusa Ikwe Bunaze Za tuwe waza Omuro koze Hatfam robi ya ye merera kanye Te Steve ruba mtu njira Tukariche mochitele rezechi Oman diga yaha Okwa tomu zindaro Famire ya ye merera Nito tuwe na tuwe merere Tuwaza kurgaha Tumanyangu yesu no msinguzi Haleluya Yesu nichi No msinguzi Yee Dale tuwe na tuwe merire Kute tendere za Yesu Yesu Olimwa Mana kwandega Omosa Omosa Yego na zezeza Kwebaza Yesu mulokozi Yebaza nyo Ea sanwira Anze Ea mponga Onye wake Ekisecho Sankoma Asanyusa Elaborecho Oyebazibwe Yebare Yesu Tukote Tendereza Yesu Ole mwana Kwandega Yesu Omusa Omusa Onade Yesu Kwebaza Yesu Murokose Hallelujah Savi Sejeli Dinjurwe Ankore Diocese The Bishop of Ankore is soon coming But for us now we belong to St. James Cathedral Aha Abeishe Mwaba Ba Joji Na Joyce Kano Mzwe Churwaba Wabo Jaki Aha Kusomera Nito Not Kusomera Ruharo Ni Eriyeria Na Abwe Chabar Haro Aba Kusomera Mwaba Cathedral Mwaba 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 Aha, these are the hosts. Please, we are here. Please take over. Mukama Sim. Hello. Um, good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming to be with the family. As the church has said, we are going to do both English and Rinyankore. Uh, for the latter, the Rinyankore, there's someone who is more senior to me. Uh, so I will not dare to murder the language, especially not here. So we will go. The next phase is the laying of the wreaths. And 
we would, as you can see, there are very many wreaths. Sixty-three exactly. Now the church has said that we would like to have uh, this service brief, not too long, so, so that uh, there are a couple of senior citizens that would not like to sit too long. So we're going to be quick with this. So please, when I read your name, I'm going to try and accommodate everybody if we can. If we cannot, then we shall adopt a comprehensive acceptance of wreaths. So having said that, we shall start with Uncle George. George is followed by the children. children are followed by the grandchildren. Children are followed by the Wabnoha family. family. Oh, 
Rakasisi and family. Followed by the Inzaros family. After the Nzaro family is Professor Tumwine family. Followed by Florence Kasigwa. The Okwakol family. Okwakol family followed by the Bagamba family. Gamba family is followed by Professor Triam Hika's family. 
Professor Tayam Hika's family is followed by the Not Not family. The Chihika Straw family. Dr. and Mrs. Zaramba and family. The Bataringaya family. The Katuramu family. family the Chivengeres family and the Bitatures family The Chiriawire family. The Biagagere family. Followed by the Katajira family. The Kato family. Followed by the Rakanenjere family. Mrs. Edith Mugera. The Nyenda family, Professor and Mrs. Otim, the Bamutunjire family, the Kahanji family. The bishop has arrived, so.
twenda katwemirere twakira mu rebereze wankore haza twaza kutendereza ne mu rebereza gumiza mu twakira mu rebereze wankore na chaplain we kote tendereza yeso yeso re mwana gwandiga yeso omosa omusai guna ziza twebaza omulokozi mukama simwe mushitame Bam Tundire family, the Kahanji family, the board and management of Citibank, the Kabaza family, the Mutashwera family. Sanlam The Kategaya family The Kanabi in Subugan family Aba Boding that is how it was uh, about boarding. I think these were Anti Frida about boarding, followed by the Rutega family. Reverend Canon Ganafa. Insurance Training College of Uganda. Insurance Brokers Association. The Jakana family. Mbarara Historicals Association. FMU The Bring Rizas Think these are the Embarara Historicals Followed by the Bring Rizas then Medipal International Hospital. Pentad Insurance. ASCK Fathers Union.
All Saints Sako by the church Thank you very much. Um, we have tried to accommodate the list as it was given to us and the church has been very kind to indulge. So have you. So we thank you for that. Those that have not been read, they are very much appreciated, but we do not have that on the list, so maybe they were not recorded. But having said that, the family is very grateful for your presence and we thank you for coming to be with us. So that ends the wreath reading and placing. Um, if I'm guided by the church, are we continuing straight into the speeches? Straight away. Okay. So I think let me just continue so that uh, my colleague will join in. We will not have many, but we will start with the grandchildren of Auntie Joyce, Avish Guru. If that was said by the first, the first way, they might not have understood who I'm talking about. The grandchildren. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, I'd like to just say we are very glad that you're here to celebrate with us. Um, I'll be giving the grandchildren's speech together with uh, my cousin, Michelle. Uh, my name is Vernon Mugabe, uh, Kiyuguru, most of you know me as Gabe, and um, uh, this is a tough day for us because of what grandma meant to us. Um, she was the true embodiment of unconditional love. <sighs> this is a bit tough. Um, grandma was very close to us. I know there's a lot of people that can say they're close to their grandparents, but for us, it's beyond true. Um, her experience in each of our lives was quite unique. Uh, I'll just speak for myself. Um, my relationship with grandma started very very early uh, I had the privilege of being one of the grandchildren that went to Shalom her kindergarten so I was the first um, there depending on who you ask in this family it might have been a good thing or a bad thing that I went to Shalom but um, coming from the person who went I'll just give you what my experience was uh, starting off uh, school career 
or a school experience. Um, I think a lot of children didn't want to go to school. It was very different for me. I wanted to go to school every day because I was going to what we call my school. Uh, when I joined Shalom, I decided very quickly that it was my school, it was my grandmother's school, and I made sure everyone knew from my fellow students to my teachers. And uh, from the very beginning, when I would get tired of school, um, and this would be like after an hour, I would go to grandma's office and she would let me sit down in her couch and drink Ribena. And uh, from that very beginning, it was never a situation where she tried to force me to go back, but she made me realize why I had to go back and learn with the rest of my friends. And um, that then started uh, my relationship with her of just listening to her um, as opposed to uh, being forced into doing anything. She never really forced us to do anything. Um, like was said yesterday in church, um, she was our protector as grandchildren. We hid behind her so many times from our parents um, uh, in the situations where we were in trouble and she always defended us. So I'd like to thank her for that. Um, I'll just give you a few more accounts of what grandma was to us. She really believed in us as her grandchildren, uh, in our hopes, in our dreams. Um, for me personally, when I was in high school, she stayed with us for uh, a few weeks and uh, she had a problem with her phone charger. And I literally just replaced that phone charger with another one. And she called me engineer for 10 years after that. <laughs> She told everyone that I was going to be an engineer. <laughs> so when I went into finance, she, was, she basically told me that I was not using my talents. <laughs> and um, that story has grown wings since then. Um, but that's who she was. She always listened to who we, who we wanted to be. She always asked us what we wanted to be. And her questions were never shallow. She actually wanted an answer from us every time um, she asked us those questions. Um, all the way till the end, um, Grandma was very attentive, uh, she was very loving, and um, one of the last accounts that I have with her when she stayed with us at the end of the last year is uh, one day I came back from work and she asked me if I was happy. And um, I was telling her that I was, but she wanted me to explain why I was happy. Was I happy with where I was? in my life, with my job, and um, uh, we sat there and we talked about it for a bit. Um, but that was who she was. Uh, she was very intentional with her love for every single person, and she was with us as well. Um, so just to conclude, um, it's a very bittersweet moment, obviously, because we're happy that she is resting. Um, it has been a tough couple of years as she's been sick, but um, I'm also quite sad that uh, the next generation of people are not going to get to experience her. I appreciate it greatly that we did get the opportunity to experience her. Um, and uh, for all of you that are here, I'm guessing it's the same for you. And I just want us to remember her love, her kindness, and uh, respect her with that gratitude and um, we love you grandma and uh, you will forever remain in our hearts thank you um, hello everybody uh, my name's uh, Michelle Odiambo Mati I am grandma's first grandchild um, my grandma was an amazing woman that embodied every aspect of what a woman should be. I find it difficult to find the words to describe who she was, who she was. so like her, I will run to the Bible. Um, I'm going to use Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23, which lists specific behaviors that um, are known as the fruits of the Holy Spirit, which result from the work that the Holy Spirit is, does in a Christian's life. So the first is the fruit of love. When I heard about grandma's passing, I felt like a small piece of me went with her because there is no love greater than the love of a grandparent. I have been blessed to have all four grandparents in my life until now. Um, 
And every time my cousins and I would go to see our grandparents, we would leave with very inflated egos because they shower us with so much love. Nobody could tell us anything. Um, I would look forward to visit with grandma because she would cook up a storm and give us the biggest and most comforting hugs upon arrival. I don't know what it was about those hugs, but for some reason all the world's problems seemed to melt away in that moment. My grandmother um, from Kenya who is here with us today is exactly the same way, so losing one of them has been very, very hard on me. Um, the next two are the fruits of kindness and goodness, and grandma was so, so kind. The dictionary definition of kindness is that kindness is a quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. Goodness is seen in our actions. This word relates to not only being good, but also doing good things. And grandma embodied all of this and did not hold onto earthly possessions in any way, shape, or form. She was always so quick to give away her things, from jewelry to scarves, accessories, and something that I was secretly very jealous of is how she would make sure that every year on her children and grandchildren's birthdays, the, ch the ones here in Uganda would get a birthday cake. I didn't get to experience the cake because we've lived um, far away our whole lives, but she always found a way to make me feel so special on my birthday with a message or a phone call. Somehow, I managed to feel love from her and kindness from so far away. The third is the fruit of joy. The Bible says that joy is happiness that is not dependent on our circumstances. Grandma always had the most beautiful smile on her face. I remember her asking my cousins and I to put on a performance for her when we were younger, and we would all congregate in a corner somewhere and come up with an entire production where we would sing, act, and dance. Uh, she would show us with so much praise, and the joy on her face made us feel like superstars. We were ready to move to Hollywood and sign our contracts. <laughs> the other fruits are gentleness, self-control, peace, patience, which grandma embodied in every way. I'd like to finish off with the last fruit, which is faithfulness. Um, grandma was faithful to her God, she was faithful to her husband, and she was faithful to her family and friends. As we lay her to rest today, I take solace in the fact that she lived a good and fruitful life. She got to meet so many grandchildren, she met her great-grandchildren, my two children, um, and I take solace in the fact that she is now with Jesus, who she gave her life to so many years ago. This is not a goodbye from me, but and I'll see you later, and I look forward to the big hug that I'll receive from her when my day comes. Thank you all so much for being here with our family. Hona <laughs> Ukashomaje, ukazi kwaji, mutiriro hango mungar. Kanta re chini tuchuru nje, nko kuzi kuhui shemwe, akukano gumo shemeriirwe, na ba na ba shemeriirwe, abokuwa harukuza, nthamanyangu havoni. Mwe nuzi apeji ya mshangu, wobuta boto ba ba hirazango mubi komo shau. Tuto shongole mchwe kabiri, umuigura harumu enche shemiri, tukuza kueta ba nyuanebe. Kwa yeri eri endi enyuma chishongole chomu chiret just step chuo kabiri biyonga. Mwenye shemi re e ya ba juni re ba kunda ni yoro hanga tu tejere se kwa bone kutwa chiri ra yo. Tuena kuturiza yo tuino tuino usinge turia tera nira yo na we tuena kuturiza yo 
Kanyete Aunt Jovia and Aunt Mary Mujaha Mutujwe Chere Mujwe Chere Banyuani Bamame Wee to Joyce Mujwe Please be free to speak a language of your choice. Oyo gamburu nyankwale, abatakuru hurra, batove. Ola kwale ndo gamburu zungu rugambe, abatakuru hurra. Omoyo nazakukwala. Mukama simwe. Mukama simwe. Awoku wa hanu ya Turi hanu kus Celebrate inga life ya Aunt Joyce Aunt Joyce Aka wa my Lady of honor 47 years ago And since that time We've been friends We've been friends Three of us Kunka all the time Nka hati ni feeling We are not mourning Aunt Joyce she has lived a fruitful life. And Joyce had such a heart, such a big, big heart, heart for everybody. So when I think we are all celebrating, not mourning Aunt Joyce. Hello, everyone. Kama kwa senta ushisha Ninyawazamu kama Kwa mgani sejoisi Umuaka kwa Rukumu mendara Nisha anjune na chanjune tana Na nyakari mai Metron of honor Tukaba friends Joisa kawana kunda Kwa kunda kunda Kanda kana kunda wa mtubinji Aba tu, aba kuru, aba hangu Aba chi, aba viti nisa Aba hansi wona Akawa tuwa nukukwari. Nusa kankunda, kanyijesevi mtuvi inji. Akawa my sister, ya mawe, ya njesuku gumisiriza, kawa gumisirizi, waka ntoba rumusi isira wa sasira. Njuka waka mugu mtu waka ini wanjari anji. Tuwa raba wende kia tuzumu katari. Na jantazuri ya chati na shitamari na nyomaru wene sinti zanyi. Ya njatu, um, ataba nchito wala nyomaru wangu wako wene sinti zawe. Sasa kwa kushesia yabo mumnaku yabariyari yakawa gamba mazima akawa kugambiri shichiri uchanga ninga shoto chikundi ninjuka nabo na feri wuma na wanje abantu baka wanjira humura wakaka kura mtumano kuku kushasha manja bichi bichi ya ishanja tu juu ya atinku mako kushasha ata wakuwa tinka chiri ya bagicho kuna wabrava tu Godin died she told me now I know your pain and you know my pain and you are the only person can feel my pain. Just see what I can do. In the future, I'm not going to be sorry. Just so good, me ho. That home is pretty rough, shang. Thank you, the aunties. Ninja 
So we are Bonnie and Clyde here. So we are just going to do both English and Runyankore. Thank you very much, aunties. They have spoken on behalf of aunties, very many friends. Uh, Our next speech will be from the in-laws. The in-laws, please. Uh, you can all come, and then one or two of you, <coughs> one of you two or two of you will say something. Eric, Robert, Martin. Please. We're not going to have many speeches, but uh, they are all necessary. As we wait for my brother Eric uh, to join, uh, I think I'm the eldest here. Let me speak <laughs> uh, first. My name is uh, Robert uh, Wabnoha. Um, my sister Annette here uh, comes from the Wabnoha family, and we're here. Um, I would be a little bit brief, but my story is simple. The story of joy through Joyce. Joyce in our family, our Benoit family, uh, the story goes that it started some 65 years ago, before even Annette knew Geoffrey. Here in Mary Hill, my two sisters who are here, um, Joy and Chris, Chris Vitarabejo and Joy Wandera used to be like younger sisters uh, of which Joyce used to look at them at their home here in Imbarara when they were in Mary Hill here. The story goes that during weekends they would spend weekends at her place uh, with Florence Kamgisha, uh, Florence Mugasha and uh, one of the sisters is here um, yeah, uh, Florence Mugesha here and other classmates who are here. These are elders who are hitting their 80s uh, and Joyce would bring them together all together in the, at her home and feed them during the weekend. That is the love and joy she did. She went on uh, of course went to uh, uh, Fort Porto where she studied and she got the name of Akiki. In our family we know her as Akiki. She of course perfected her, the culture of the Batoro. Actually we, she knew more of the culture of the Batoro than the Banyankole. Uh, throughout and then my, uh, my sister Annette comes later on uh, some 30 years ago to join uh, the Chuguru family and the relationship was formed to, to the extent that we never called her our mother-in-law uh, we called her our aunt Joyce but to the elder sisters of mine Joy and Chris they were sisters to each other so there was nothing in lordship. That's why you see we have so many of the Wabanoa family who came uh, to join the Kyuguru family and celebrate the life, celebrate the love uh, which Joyce gave us. We thank you very much, but it would be very important for me before I conclude uh, to talk 
to uh, Uncle George. Uncle George, we know you are a believer. Uh, Uncle George, we know you are a strong man. You are a leader. And we, we, uh, and we believe and also know very well that you will be firm uh, in, this, uh, in this moment and the future and the days to come and years to come. Uh, will be with you uh, throughout the periods which you are going to be uh, alone without your love, uh, without, without your best friend, uh, will stand with you in this trying for moment. And of course to the, the children, to Geoffrey, to all my sisters uh, and brothers of the Kyoguru and our grandchildren, our children and grandchildren will stand with you. God will, will be protect us. God will be with us uh, throughout this uh, trying moment. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm not. I'm trying not to take too much time. Uh, first of all, I just want to recognize uh, the bishop and the clergy. Uh, over many years, in different occasions, whether it was weddings or when we lost our brother Godwin. Uh, when we came together as uh, Uncle George or Daddy's family, the church was always with us and I've always been here and I just want to say thank you very much. And I think um, as Mommy looks down on this occasion, which I believe she does, she looks at it as a celebration and I'm sure she's really happy that uh, the church is here. So thank you for that. Uh, my name is Eric Odiambo. Uh, my brother designated himself the eldest in-law. Actually, I came into this home before he did. <laughs> so I'd like to claim that title. <laughs> okay. Uh, although, you know, we are one and uh, the same family. Um, just a couple of words uh, that I want to say. Uh, first of all, my own biological mother is also in the congregation today. Uh, she traveled She traveled all the way from uh, Nairobi despite uh, uh, health challenges. Uh, so she's sim sitting somewhere in the congregation. Uh, my own father could not make it because he, he's not well. But the two of them, uh, together with mommy and daddy, were actually like brothers and sisters. Whenever they were together, uh, whether it was in Nairobi or here in uh, Uganda, they were always so happy and if you looked at them, they were like teenagers having fun, you know, talking stories and laughing. Uh, and so I know that uh, uh, with mommy's uh, demise, that, <coughs> that they will surely miss her. We just want to encourage you. Uh, we cannot understand how tough this is. But we will be with you, uh, standing with you. Uh, yeah, and just encouraging you the way mommy will do. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I also want to let you know that uh, my father's brother, uh, Uncle Tom, please stand up. <clears throat> He's actually representing my dad because my dad said, I can't go, but please go there and make sure that uh, you represent me and the family. So that's my dad's younger brother. Uh, he's my father as well. Um, so I just wanted to introduce him. Uh, to my brothers, Geoffrey, Gordon, uh, to my dear wife Julie, and my sister Joy, and then my sister Jackie. I know that this is a, a big loss for you, uh, <clears throat> but I know that if you stand together and are united, that this will really be the starting of a, a new life for all of you, and more importantly for your children, because you carry mommy within your hearts. Uh, and I just encourage you to, to stay together. Uh, keep her memory alive um, 
and let that also flow to, to the rest of the children. I apologize. I've not had this uh, reaction in my life ever before, but you know, things are up there. So thank you very much. Clergy, fellow mourners, uh, relatives, and friends. Uh, my name's Aranette uh, Wabnoha Kihuguru, and I've been in the Kihuguru family for 32 years, uh, officially, and officially maybe more. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to say something about mommy because uh, she's been my mom. My mom has been dead for about 12, 13 years, um, but she's been there for me. And during that time, I think we've developed, we developed a certain friendship I did not understand. But uh, she was my friend. She was my really good friend. She had never called me Annette in my life. She called me my Paco, which is Atene. And she always called me First Lady, all through. Um, so many times, I don't know when I would go to her, she would ask me, do you know that I love you? I would say, yes, I know. And like uh, my son said, Vernon, we had a privilege last December. She was left to us when daddy uh, traveled to Turkey. And during that time, I think, I thank God so much because I had the time to look after her very, very closely this time. Um, I cleaned her. Uh, I talked with her. Uh, I would check on her when I would go to town. She would ask the nurse, where's first lady? I would not even stay in, in town long because she would ask, where has she gone? Where is she? And uh, I really felt very touched that time because I had never been, had the privilege to really take care of her. Um, I was also happy that the day she died on Wednesday, I was there. Um, I spent quite a number of hours holding her hand uh, because she was really shivering. And I observed every little moment of her before she passed. I think um, the nurse Annette is around here. I asked her a number of questions. Why are her eyes like this? Why is her mouth like this? Why is her cheek shaking? Why is this? Why is that? And I don't know whether she knew. She kept on telling me, no, she's OK. She's going to be fine. Until we went to the ICU. And uh, my last moment of seeing her live, I think that was less than 30 minutes uh, uh, before she uh, closed her eyes. I'm happy I saw her. And I will live with that memory forever. I want to say uh, to the rest of uh, the Kihuguru family, especially Daddy, um, who has never stopped treating me as, as his own, I want to say, Daddy, thank you. I think um, my relationship with Daddy went beyond being an in-law. I don't think he fears me. I can lift his legs. I can touch his hand. We can hug. We can do everything. Daddy, thank you very much for being with I uh, mean, loving me, and I'm sure I'm going to continue being there with you. I really feel for you, but I know you are a very strong man. To Geoffrey, who's my husband, um, we'll try to be there as your mom. <laughs> you know now that you don't have. I have the experience. I don't have a mother myself, so I know what it feels to not to have a mother. So we'll be there to Gordon, Juliet, Joy, and Jackie. I am here always, and I'm sure you know that. Um, we'll try the best to be there with you. Um, to the mourners, what I wanted, I was the treasurer, by the way. I just wanted to say hello, I mean, uh, thank you to each and everyone. I was telling Daddy, I think yesterday and, to, yesterday and the other day when we were in Kampala, I said I didn't know people love you so much to this extent, but people have really, really, really given. I don't think the family has spent anything. Thank you very much for the love you have shown us, you have given with your whole heart. As a family representing the family, we are very, very, very 
grateful. Thank you and may God bless you always. To mommy, I know we'll meet again and we'll laugh. Like everybody say, that smile will always be there in our lives. Thank you. Thank you. My Lord Bishop Rahango Musom Arekezak Bracing Akandes in Dinazo Zukaza, Aroboku, Kuo in Abakui, Kashangan Komuki, Akchira Yorji and Donarga Kaberebe. Oh, yeah, Taba Kumwe no Reba Nabakui, Ataba Nabakui, Rwanda, Chigali, Toro, Northern Uganda. Chamanyi sango ukono kushomesa kwa ine family nozarwa katete ukura katete ushirwa katete yambozi yona norwiz 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 ra norwiz ra atwaro mwana so this is a family ekuza gumaho abakwizi na chifuguru nzakuwa nusu nusu ndi ingwa um East African Cooperation na wacho tisi marhanga na niente be kanisa. Abokuenzure yagua katua batu ni tente zetu kuchira causes tu anza kutunge chizabu na nomu yaga zima brumu nta kuwa tete tente yaro mtubo na wana kantu izere kuzika so we want to thank this family kujangu we are we are feeling warm now abo entebe kani so mwe bari mnong ah inza kuetaba na mwezi Geoffrey Ija ah. Injira no zakuwe sotinga no mukazo akumra raga boka no reba muya sgarari nyoko you have to change the bedroom because she acha na wosinga publicly that she's becoming your mom so please rondare voya o Praise God. Praise God. I'm so sorry, my voice is not very good, but um, I would like to first of all thank the clergy, Bishop, Dean, and your team for being my support. You've really been my support in Imbara. I decided not to go to, to Kampala. I stay in Imbara. So I decided not to go to Kampala so that everything can be sorted this side. But one thing I can tell you people is that apart from Imbara being one of the best places to be, I think you can see what I look like. <clears throat> it has love. It has love from the church and once you have love from the church which comes from God what more love do you need from Wednesday when mommy passed on I had a few of her friends who came to visit but the clergy used to come on a daily basis I used to look at them the dean is a very stubborn man, making us laugh all the time. The bishop checking on me all the time, whether it's on WhatsApp, whether it's on a, by a phone call. But I felt the love. And actually, people used to ask me, the dean would ask me, how are you feeling? I'll tell him I'm in autopilot because there's so much to do here. I would like to thank the rest of the people who assisted starting from yesterday and um, for everybody who decided to come and help. I'd like to talk about mommy. When I told mommy that I was coming to Mbara, she was not too comfortable because she knew that I did not know anybody here. It's, uh, it's Joffrey basically who knows people actually people were very shocked to find out 
when mommy passed on that I'm in Ibarra because I'm not I'm not a person who likes going out I like being in the house early and so people didn't really know that I was around but mommy told me one thing and I know I got it from her mommy was a very shrewd businesswoman very shrewd and she told me Jackie Ningumanya with your customer care and the way you love people I want to, people will buy even grass when it is supposed to be something else you will manage in Barra and daddy was also very happy actually daddy was happy that I was coming to Mbara the last born to decide to settle here mommy was very loving too loving actually I don't know whether you people understand whereby if she does not call you that day you know there's a problem mommy used to call me on a daily basis to find out how I'm doing but she said one thing when I was coming to Mbara. She says, Jackie, please make sure that you keep the name of the Kyugurus when you go to Mbara. And uh, Bishop and the Dean, I hope I've tried to do my best because um, you don't want to come to an environment and you start being uh, funny. Jenny and uh, thank you for being a good neighbor. Just checking on me. You know one thing you have to learn about the village. They don't <laughs> inform <laughs> that they are coming. You just hear someone at the door. Um, which is something that I was not very used to. But um, I got accustomed to it. The Katari Kawe family, the girls, you came to see me. You didn't even know your auntie was going to pass on. But you just came to give me love. For all my friends who have come from Kampala, I want to thank you. For Auntie Jovia and Auntie Mary. Webare Munonga for being mommy's friend. You know, it is very hard to have a friend for so many years. But I have the privilege also. I think I'm also blessed like mommy. I have friends from P1, from nursery. We still talk up to now. But I used to look at Aunt Mary and Aunt Jovia. And I'll just make this joke. When I was young, I did not like Aunt Mary at all. Aunt Mary used to be like laughing with daddy all the time. And I used to wonder, Auntie Mary, why? There's Auntie Jovia, there's Auntie Mary, but why is Auntie Mary always next to Daddy? So I asked Mommy, but Mommy, why are you laughing with Auntie Mary when she's always next to your husband? What is wrong? And you know, the people thought I was joking, but I was very serious. And I almost called Uncle Sam. Conquer, I think I was too young that time the phones, we had those phones where you have to, you know but um, as I grew older I got to learn that they were just friends <laughs> although I told Auntie Mary I think the day before yesterday in front of daddy Auntie Mary think we don't could I'm going to know each other how could I want and she just laughed. But that shows the kind of friendship they had with mommy. They were so, so close. So close. But mommy, we are going to miss you. The reason why we are strong is because you have always been a strong woman. And I believe that we got that quality from her. Uh, before I end, I would like to remind all of you that mommy used to love beauty. Mommy loved looking beautiful. And she used to tell us ladies, never get out of your bedroom when you have not made up. Whether there's a visitor 
or there is no visitor make sure that you make up your face uh, when I came to Mbara <clears throat> with my madness my hair not there on the side and what I remember when I first went to St. James uh, I think I saw the bishop looking at my head but I think he was like she doesn't look mad but she maybe she, maybe this is just a different person then the dean um, asked me Konkesho Cheji ni new style so I told the dean eh ni new style naga mbele okay it's alright so mommy was that kind of person who would make you feel like you can do anything you know as long as you look nice you can do anything okay me I'm a bit much especially th these things but she was not judgmental she was not she's not a person who would you know tell you like you because you've done your hair like this or what it's only when I would blonde it like white she would be like ah konkaja kathi wabi ha so mommy was really loving and like Michelle said and I was very happy that she talked about the gifts of the Holy Spirit mommy was that in every way to her in-laws to her whoever she would be so loving her grandchildren are going to miss her because my goodness she made you people feel special so special even to the in-laws she made you feel special she loved them as long as you told her this is my husband became her son immediately mommy we're going to miss you I thank God for the rain because I don't think you people would have loved to be hot in this tent but I love God for I thank God it's well and mommy it is well with your soul I know that you're watching us. This is just a body. Mami na today bahati. Ninjeza ho ho kamuru nyankuri. Now that I'm here, but I know that mommy is looking down on us, and um, she's smiling. She's happy. Thank you, everybody. Everybody. The messages were overwhelming for me. If they're overwhelming for me, I can imagine for the rest of the family. So thank you so much guys for your love and may God bless you. Good afternoon. Um, thank you very much for coming. As you know, Jackie here has picked up some of mom's traits when you give her the microphone. I was worried that she was going to go on and on and on. But anyway, th thank you very much for everything you've done for us being in Imbarara, everything that you see around, she was doing all the hard work, and we appreciate that uh, very much. Uh, so again, thank you very much, everyone, for coming from wherever you're coming from. Being an accountant, I was already grumbling about the space here, and I was saying, do we really need all this space? Do people, will people come? But I'm looking all the way to the end. It's completely full. So. It just shows the love that you have for us. I see all our friendly faces here, uncles, aunties. Uh, we already had our speech. I think Jackie, her speech is long because she didn't have a speech in Kampala. So I was thinking about what to say, and I thought people talk about mom because she gives them a lot of advice. She gives men advice. She gives also the women advice, but clearly, Many of us have been listening, others I'm sure we are listening but not acting. But I'm going to take this opportunity to talk about a couple of things that mom used to talk to all of the women and the men um, about some of the tips of building good relationships. The first thing she always said was always have Jesus in the center of anything you do. And sometimes, you know, it's something that you don't understand but for me, I think I start to understand as we grow older, Jesus at the center, so that we don't depend on each other because we are all imperfect. And so that was something that she, she used to say, but also our late brother Godwin used to say a lot. Whenever he would find siblings fighting, 
you'd always remind us that we are imperfect but when we put Jesus in the center as a whole we, we remain perfect so that was something I remember that uh, she did the, the other thing is you know we talk about uh, thanking our father uh, but she was really somebody that was very engaged in the home so as they say he's the head she's the neck so in many cases she also told us that when you're in a home you need to demonstrate respect we did not grow up rich if anybody thinks that was the case in fact it wasn't the case but one thing that she did do is that she always respected him and never made him feel any less than he would be able to so just a few examples whenever we'd go to school we'd go for pocket money and the pocket money he would give us would be the pocket money he would give us but then quietly we would go now to the mother and she would also give us pocket money but he must not know that we got pocket money because it would look like it's insufficient on his part so that was one thing uh, that she said the other thing she told us as men as we started growing up and starting to feel like we were independent but still staying in the home she would tell us there's only one man in the house if you want to be a man in the house you go and make your your home so whether you are 20 or 25 as long as you're staying in that home you have to demonstrate respect for the head of the home which was our father there so you'd never find any of us questioning what he would say even if we disagreed and that was really something she was imparting in us not really from our father so something that she continued to impart in us as well um, other, there are many other things that I would say uh, that she would remind us. Uh, other things would be um, when you fight, we're all human beings, we fight in the home, but don't fight in front of the children. And sometimes when things start becoming hot, you start hearing things like children are around, children are around. So personally, we do not see fighting, but sometimes in our gossiping, sometimes Juliet would say, I think I had some noise in the room there. But we never for once saw fighting, and so it wasn't something that we were naturally accustomed to, seeing uh, parents fighting in front of, of the children. The last one I want to give, and that one she didn't give, we used to see, and I'm sure they can all attest, is as a person in the home, don't bring temptation in the home. So you know where I'm going with this one. She used to screen all the house helps in the home. And we used to wonder always why they looked a certain way. <laughs> Some of them, their legs are this way, the other was the eyes. One has a, one eye, the other one. The, we never understood why the selection, definitely not attractive at all. And it bothered us because sometimes we just used to have problems with that. But now we know. Uh, so, for you, for you people of today who are hiring people, please remember this last one. It, it may help some of you in the future. But again, thank you so much for coming. Um, just trying to make it a bit lighter. Um, but thank you very much. I think I'll take it because Joy wants to do something for us at the end. Um, just to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody for being here. Um, all these things that Jackie and Gordon are saying are like a part of mommy's character. She was very, very, very funny. And she would say things in the most gentle way which were tough, even when she's, you know, blasting you. But um, what I remember most about mom is how much she told us to respect people. It was so important to her that I remember when I got married, she would tell me, you weigh what you, how you respond, how you act with your in-laws because it costs nothing to smile and it costs nothing to respect. She would always say that. She would like wear your, like really like choose your battles. Like if you choose, um, if you think there's something that you need to say back or say back, go to your room, say it and then come back, kneel down and bless the person. 
She's like, it used to cost nothing. And we were, mommy was a mnyankole who never knelt. But she used to say, if it makes somebody feel respected, kneel. So we all knelt. We all knelt. And now I see my kids going to people and kneeling. And I'm like, I've never told them to kneel. But it costs nothing to respect a person and make a person feel honored. And that was one thing that mommy did. She always made people feel honored. So... I'm sure there's so many things that are going to be said about mom. Um, mine is to say thank you, thank you, thank you for honoring mommy, for giving back to her from where she gave to you. I'm sure each of you have a story. Um, sorry, daddy, for mommy's loss. We are going to, we are going to be there for you. Um, yeah, but I know she spoiled you, she spoiled you completely, so we, we don't know how to match that. We'll try, we'll try as much as possible. And I know that you're going to have people like Uncle James next to you who have walked that path um, that will support you. But we love you. We're going to be here for you. You're going to live many more years. So mommy has left you in the air, but God's grace is going to find you in that place. And we love you. Um, to my siblings, Joffrey, I know that's uh, tough. Jackie, Annette, Annette, thank you for looking after mommy. Thank you. Jackie, you are mommy's <laughs> go-to. They were always like gossiping about all of us. But it's good. It's good because mommy needed to talk to somebody. Gordon, I'm sorry. You have to go back to the New York immediately. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Joy, thank you for looking after mommy. Thank you. Um, yeah. Let me just, yeah. Thank you. Um, the bishop and the clergy, uh, family, friends uh, here present. I think uh, mine is just really to to thank. I am in agreement with everything that has been said, of course. But I want to thank all of you on behalf of the family very, very much. Um, <clears throat> you've been with us during this difficult period, uh, but the presence it is. I, th I think one of the lessons, um, not only from mommy, uh, but from also all the people that we interact with, the generation uh, that, uh, that we grew up under, uh, I don't know whether we have been a little bit of a disappointment, our generation, but the ties and the friendships that were established by you know, people that uh, we see that are here, Mrs. Uh, if I start that one, that one might be a problem. So if I mention a few people, those ones who I don't mention, it's because of the, it could, it's because it's cold, so my, I might have got a bit of a jam. So, you know, the Anganwas, the Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Rutega, Mrs. Katajira, Mrs. Viagagiri, um, so they had a way in which they thought about life and the way that they raised us which also impacted on the way that uh, the country was uh, so this Ubuntu thing they, they had a lot of that uh, I have been very comfortable with uh, the generation that was uh, my mother and my father because it was, it is something that would be able to reflect on and say this is how things should be. Uh, we have tried and we are going to continue to try because I think we owe it to them. And then for her, uh, I think the friendships that she had that like has, have been mentioned that transcended uh, class, age, uh, tribe, you know, uh, we look around and it is not it is not just our friends because some of our friends have were impacted so much by her through us and there are quite a number you know uh, you know I look around this is the southern Uganda from Luero Jasper Galingawesa who at some point had the temerity to try and say that but it's, I said really okay 
but uh, a lot of people you know the like the, the nyenders at some point because it is not only that we were neighbors mommy and their mother were very close uh, they have names that are similar to my sister's names but everybody has a story to tell uh, Bernard where is Bernard? Bernard Kariawari, all who all of you see here, very big, that gentleman there. Uh, our first time, they have not seen you properly. So Bernard is our mayor here. We might have an official mayor, but around here, and he's also the owner of Buffalo. Now Bernard, when he was almost up to the age of about four or five, somehow he was always in my mother's skirt, uh, hiding. Uh, but we have turned out the things that we used to do then the th it, it, it is also good that we don't have many very many people who can who can recite them but we have turned out relatively well so that is what is important so thank you want to thank the our friends our relatives uh, who assisted Jackie during the preparation uh, of this of this her last journey thank you very much we do not regret our experience with how we celebrate uh, every last uh, and I had, like I had said towards the end for a person like mommy not being able to have control of herself 100% control was something which was very difficult for her so we are glad that she has rested the one regret that I have is that she was not able to come and see these gardens. So anyway, so she saw pictures when we were coming for the for the Queen and she kept on saying, you know, she wanted to look at the detail of the flowers. I want to thank I want to thank Annette because she spent a lot of time here and this is this is really a labor of her love and uh, what it is that she did to although that at the time I was telling her today that we probably without well, knowingly and unknowingly prepared it for two two functions for Vanessa's Queen Jira and then also for her send off. She saw pictures, she was very happy, she you know she would say, Let me look at this picture, you know, let me look at these flowers and things like that. Um, so thank you all. Uh, thank you all for being here. Daddy, thank you. Uh, for what you've been to to mommy and to us like i said in church we will try our best uh, with god helping us but we know that you will be that will be fine thank you all thank you all once again thank you very much um, praise the lord um I already spoke. Uh, what I want to do now is uh, sing a song for Mummy. There is a song I composed for our late brother Godwin when he passed on. Um, I did it about five years ago, but I believe that it is very relevant even now for Mummy. So let me just sing. This is a, a tribute, tribute to my to dear mommy, brother, Mrs. Godwin Joyce Kilgore. Kilgore. We love you. Rest in peace. It is hard to believe that we can never see you. It is hard to believe 
that we cannot replace you our hearts will always love you and we will not forget you may your soul rest in peace in the lord until we see you again the celebration especially after that but thank you very much the children I think I'll only pick uh, one or two things from there especially the one that uh, Gordon alluded, alluded to which was about the the selective <laughs> the selective hiring I think we need to be especially in the spirit of Lent this Lent period, I think, was started by a fasting period of Jesus. And I think Jesus would not have been the same if he did not go through the 40 days of temptation. Uh, so to rid yourself of temptation might defeat the purpose sometimes. So let's be equal opportunity employers and employ along the lines. 
if someone does the job well that you have employed them to do uh, let's do it just a second sorry my apologies um, I wanted to introduce the nurse that has been uh, who was with mommy until the end very very closely Annette Annette is she here? yes she's there She didn't have a chance to do her selection thing on this one, but, but we are happy that she was there. Thank you, Geoffrey. I think that seals what I was trying to say. So, in the end, Auntie Joyce is vindicted. She's all right. Everything is all right. Please, let's be equal opportunity uh, employers. Having said that, we are... It was mentioned in Kampala, but also I'm sure many of you know that uh, Auntie Joyce uh, was the last surviving of the Habu Kwasizo children. Um, the rest had gone before her, and so now we, there's a hard task of filling that, that gap after that. Um, but we will try, I'm sure. The person that leads uh, that next generation of the children of the uh, well, we'll say grandchildren of Habukwasizo Muzei Habukwasizo I, I'm, the, I'm probably the only one who can say his name because he gave me his grandfather's name uh, Kakara, so I'm, I'm allowed to say the Habukwasizo name, but having said that uh, Auntie Florence is the eldest of the next generation and uh, she will give her speech as she sits good afternoon everybody my, my, my lordship the bishop and the clergy uncle george and the children and all mourners Today, for me, is a day of celebration. I've known Aunt Joyce since my birth because their mother died very early when my mother had just got married. So they, she used to come to our home for holidays. And from there, we didn't know she was not our sister. We thought she was, I mean, she was not our sister, yes. but. We came to know about it much, much later. Because our father would take her to the bus, going to Chebambe, take her to the bus when she was going to Chambogo. And we thought she was one of us. And my father used to, to do virtually everything. So I've known her as a sister, more than as an aunt. And above all, as a friend. Aunt Joyce loved me from, child, from day one. She used to carry me, sometimes she tried to carry me when I, I was a, a very fat child. She fell down on me because she couldn't manage the child. So this is a person we are celebrating her life with. She had love. I've not seen anybody who has, who has unconditional love. Whether you do what or do what for us, if she loved you, she loved you as you are whether poor, whether rich, and uh, really that's fitted in everybody. Secondly, she was a giver, and sometimes we'd take advantage of her, because we'd know that if you ask her for a necklace, she would say, you can take two. <laughs> so something you, have, you, are, you, you appreciate, something, a dress, say, with this fit, you know, let me buy you another one. So for us as nieces, but at the same time sisters, we found her a very good counselor. And I think she was mainly to blame, not to blame, for my early marriage. Because as soon as I finished the campus, she had been lecturing me about inf infidelity, don't do this, don't do this, 
wait until marriage. So as soon as I jumped from Makerere, I went to the altar. But I don't regret it even a single day because what she had planted in me managed to manage me to run my home at the age of 23 until my, my husband passed on after 30 years of marriage. So I want to thank her for that and I think she also impacted my sisters equally. The other one, she was a Christian and she never wanted you to hold grudges. Sometimes I would say, her, I don't like that person. You say, why? There are people who are doing worse things in this world and they are forgiving. Who are you not to forgive? And she would counsel you as she's laughing, but you get the message. <coughs> so at this point, I want to thank the children, especially Geoffrey. Geoffrey has been a friend. Many people thought he was my blood brother, and we have been close all that time. Geoffrey, thank you for loving your mother. Thank you for the support. Thank you for keeping me informed. Because I used to ring her and I used to go and visit, but every time I would visit, she would cry because I have a problem with my legs. The same one I wanted was a kusha, and then she would start crying. So I told her, Aunt Joyce, I'm not coming back here. And I, I kept my word. I would ring her, talk to her, but not go to see her. So Geoffrey rang me and told me, your friend has passed. It was, it was one o'clock in the morning. I sat in my bed and I got my Bible and I read my Bible until morning. And then I rang Geoffrey again to find out any progress and then he said you be patient i'm contacting people so i also want to thank jackie joy juliet gordon for all that you have done for your mother i know she has gone to see the lord and she must have died a happy mother there is nothing to, as, pain, as painful if you can't get wait on with your own children. But she, she, she knew they loved her unconditionally. They didn't have so much money to throw around, but they were able to take, him, to take her to hospital, to treat her in most of the best hospitals in Uganda and out until God decided to call her. So thank you very much for playing your role. Thank you for honoring the fifth commandment. Love your, your parents. You shall, have, you shall have blessings all your life. So I know you are blessed and continue being blessed. I want to thank Uncle George. Uncle George was a friend. <coughs> he didn't talk much, but he would appreciate. Because I also, when I was at campus, whenever they would go out, I would ask, they would ask me to come and baby seat the children. Of course, these were still young. But he would make sure that I am comfortable at home with the children until they come back. So, Uncle George, we are praying for you. I'm not in a position to come and see you as, as often as I should have, but I'll keep in touch. And I know God has a plan for you. Whatever he does, when he closes the door, he opens a window. I know God is with you. He will, he will touch your heart. And you will learn to accept the passing of my aunt. But for me, I know it's a celebration. She has going to be with the Lord. And when our time comes, we shall join her. Lastly, but not least, I want to thank the nurse because recently I had a, my father who was 105 I was with him for five years and a half in my residence and I had two nurses but when I saw what they had to go through sometimes they would have to have sleepless nights 
Sometimes they would have to wake up and start talking to him when he has failed to sleep. So I can imagine what the nurse was going through. But uh, I thank you, this nurse, you know, if you know you can tell her your problem, I can't sleep, change this, change this. The bed sheets are smelling, uh, almost get them off. And sometimes when they are in pain, they can lose the cool. So please, I want you to take my thanks and to accept it, the nurse. So, Aunt, Aunt Joyce, farewell, adieu, we shall meet in heaven. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie Florence. Um, we also have an uncle here, Uncle Muguta, who we call chairman. Fondly called Chairman, Uncle Maguta, please. Hey, you have a whole in a bishop. I was each of a Jesu and you have a Yamukago. Yamazin and Vanyatam Gutta Yasafu, Chairman Wabanzra, Abar Wampogo, Nakashak. Ati Nucha and Itaha, Nokshawora, Munyanya is a Jewish, Jewish Ruo, Jewishi, a Kazarwa Hau Kwaso, Kant Hau Kwaso, a Karmutan Wakakar, Uganda Wabu Marhur Navansara, Bakazarwabanam Abana Munana. Umunda yao Abo Jovana, Nevis Chibana Wabina Kuravishi Nomu Omishova Rita Tofa Yena Wokuma Nogo Isa Kuratua, Jeriti Yakuratua Jesi, Hakuratu Chubtunji Kanda Wozo, Bakawa Ravana Bakabe Koriwe Nero Weber Mukuru, a Kavari Professor Kari, Yakurator Wada, Yakuratua Rwahiji, Haherokana John Tumine, Ron Rosaro, Womjins Hab Quazo, a teacher in the Quanfra, and in the Quanfra, Okua Kurati, the Narokovazi, and in the Quanfra, and they are Tofa. Abana bato fa baria muy mir. To fa besuiri. Abon baba ana umusti umkuru. Abana ba profesor kare ni muy mir. Nebabo abana ba geneti. Note, ni mwe mire. Nwabo, abana awa jaisi, chuguru. Nwabo, abana wa sanu rwada. Nwabo, abana wa aida katarka uwe. Namushi na nishewo James Kataraka we mukodomi na waria ha kandi abana wa jo Johni tumine mweno ronoruza ruba ha kuasito kongecho sasi. Okuba Zirwe Abolfo Nimba Kwasirumu and Yakubanza Ukfa Bakakuratana, but you maka ham Taiwakati Hakabanza Rwabahiji Hakurataho Joni Hakurata Professor Kari Hakurukana Sandy Reward 
abojo bona bakuratane ahaho hakurata bishi nabaka behenge bakaba behanganye ko kana ko bagiye kugenda bagenda umuntu umwe hakabanza tofa ya ya kwata kati kwa heze ya kakwasa geneti noti geneti kwa kaheze ya kakwasa aruchu tundi wa ya kurasro hagataho hati haherichire jeis aida ngo ya kurasro hodera haheroka jeis ya hendralist mwero eka ya habkwazo nuko ya biriyetu haza mwero yo nyowe bakanye ta chairman wichika chabanzara haza mwero icha bintu sasa no kugira ngo abanje bona bagenda bandaga ngo nyowe ndiye ndihe ndizinge kirago na mwero mugenze aida katarka wa kagera tekera go kiniwe nakikwasa niwe rukizinga mwero eshaheje na nazinge kirago banyanya zi bakuru banje ikaya habkwazo na afundi cha amheru wa hirirwa ni joyce mwero kandi yowe ndi ork uchika echa tata akana kurata na habkwazo habkwazo kwa bira zarwa ngurata tata kurata mwero yowe kandi echika abako bataba na bitu they don't know their relatives abantaba kweta uncle tubine na babako bujari but because nubaba kuiza mnongo wago they end up calling them uncle uncle kwenkaba nyabuzari nubaba banjura abandi tuluba nyabuzari tuluba abanyuano banyu ntuza kweta tuwa heza my lord bishop tuwa heza hawka tuwa sikaza speech ya mwe and uh, nane nane ya uncle george konka tutakesere uh, uh, uncle james katarkawe uh, and to the uh, uh, closest uh, uh, cousin that is honorable chris rakasis 
Aisha Hajri via Gamba, then to 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 Uncle James, then to want to record. Wewe mna wanga speed na speed yawe. Mukama nje bishopu. The House of Clergy. My brother-in-law George Chuguru. Abana banje mwe na na bishukuru. Abanya rugana na banya mukago. Abantu ba jirangu. Beisha ku celebrating. Kare celebration nuburu nyangori dench. Mwisho kujaguza, nyota ni mwisho kujaguza. I have come to mourn my sister. Aokuwa power na njira. Ngu don't grieve like those who have no hope. Taruku yangu don't grieve. Na yangu shasha. Kungo taka shasha nkavo. Abati ne masiko. So ni jaha kuina mera mnyanyesi. We were the Monga chairman. Munchir is in the room to teach you. You see, Omuns Rakazi Omuns Ranchin in Yabayan, Govan Bajquata. Over here, Baka Hunji, no more as women see of your mouth. Each Kachava Hira Bazaraba Kazurunji Bazarimansi Barwan Ramakagav Gonkabaku and Devirunji. Bakunde birunji, na angobo nomu kuri yawa kwa wajawa kunda nomu kuri yenyama wabo tine sente zoku mungu renyama. Takaza kuri eti ntonga. Mbwe nu, kwa waru homu taaguruzi na taaguru rakubi. Kwa mwaka mwenu wanyanya wa gumara mamu himpi. Mamu himpi, ya no mamu himpi. Abaganda bo ine fungo, o muzini mubi ya zini rambabi, o muta guruzimbe na ta gurumba ba ukwa bo bo banya banya nyako tuba kaji la mwashobi, nguo kuharia. Joyce loved me. Izo barume, unkavani yomu kote. The Supreme Court. But you don't want to show him. Hat Kokka and Kawaham Hiru Abara Musaba Jirangukari Hat Gamba, a Chorku and Ochevi. But you tell me to get you. Mitigate to Gambri Hatro Yawanji Yatanduk. My Lord Bishops, you know. This is the first offender. Ni msiyo mukono. Mtukiri tuwe mbori chijirako. Na gambirawa na mzutogwa hii ya hika. Tia chiru ya wanjebi ya kugama nyuti nkubimanyi. Na wa shaman tumumpereze hueda chika. Yikumi. Nyenda kugama na roya wanji. Hatu kotu kuya humu kuya harijiriku. Aukwa no manyumi mitigesho no jambu ya nu Unsasire, uninavana Uninomu kazi tino kubarisa Yvi umri ingo nkuku Hati Na arugo yuna jira ntunyo weti yinu kuenda mitigesho Aha wuku wogo mshangu Tinka wizaga Therefore, I don't want any mitigesho Hati joi sogu Ayimu kaji ya dakwa atana Nomu kazi wanjuriwa na honu bongo ita joisi Joy Sanjirat na kuishengeleza. Nubora bota rukuzi la mshango. Ona tujuruti mungasa sile baka kusasa sile kuna katika gumani yuwe. 
namugamba nti juice tinkuza kukikora yakwaza nuko mukazi batandika kurura hata na ita bana banje bakaba kirbatu na bato mukona na bagamba nti mwana mumanya bana banje tumukumanya kikugenda umisho kwonka rwasa kuja kumpanuka kwonka no bare bampanikire imyaka 10:20 amazima gara yoreka na habwe cyo tindu kwenda kubata ho mushangu amazima gara yoreka imitwe yanyo raza higuru na habwe cyo nyowe tindu kuza kushaba kusasura Joyce yarra atimbwe no manya karumuso akagira ati bamwita nanka gira ati bamwita mwe ni hatu waza kugenda kwonka nkaguma nabangira na yanga abukuba mu mushangu nkantaka kutinda gwirize nabo cyo nkantaka kubasa kubikiriza but here she is okuna nyangu mutaguriza mbe na tagurumba umbanyanya bomsomo tayi no wabe na antu waranka hero umusomo nko muntu ugu nabwe cyo naforwa mu nyanyeze kana afurwa kimwe nyenda kusasara George habo kuba ebagamba byona ekimbiso musi ne kiri musiso anko George anko George akahuru anko George tiyo owashomira makerera kargata rukumanya anko George wonka enyima ye akabaryo mukasoko ni kusasara munonga bana banje nimba sasara okurwa ho nyukwimwe nyino umuntu nikikuru munonga bwonke kiri kunshemeza no kureba ngo juice yafane kitinu saki yafane uburungi bwe shakari umukazi umya kayankaga ni tandika nwo mukazi wo kubanza mu nyankore ubutwara ibiro mu kam umurimba rwo mu navuga imutoka navuga imutoka impanga rwo musiyase ryo mu mutoka imutoka zikazi vuga bajungu kase kunka joyce akavuga mu imutoka umurimba rwo mu george chuguru we bari munonga kunda mu nyanyese kan no mukazi wo hondi rwo bavuga imutoka kunka joyce akagivuga bana banje nimba sasara abeje kuru banje nimba sasubwa nimba sasara habo kuba ogu abarwaho you see the problem with the death is finality that we shall never see joyce again ebugambo nibingi kunka no butwa kugamba tsita mwe bari munonga bija kushindikiriza mu nyanyeze kundi kuri bari abaro gaseru na senu mukeje aha kwinamira mu nyanyeze umukitsinu sakeke yakurire mu bishop we bari munonga abahuri mwe bari munonga bakwaye mwe bari kwishongora kurungi munonga mukama ruhanga joyce mu nyanyeze akwereze cyumuru kirungi we bari munonga Yes, we very honorable Chris Rukasisi. And we akajist in such a governor Gambaba and one of them butchers. Cantarum Tamania de Chicazia Mar. A web Gambobi, Berunji Munong, Mukama Naibaro Kuturind. Woman Gokwanza Kureva, uh, Aunt Joyce and Kamareva were not actually in Yonkani with Tom's room. Awe joko jira mwa kafuge moto kimo tu kazi kanzu kwa mzungu nje ya juu zire nchovu ya juu mheri, they saw takari yomu mzungu, akenyuko na mrebero kum umba noto na jira mno mzungu a mno mnyi angori. Mr. James Katar Kawe katukwete, tuwa tuwa sikaz tuwa tuwa zakuhende rakam kushavu oja, yes. I 
Lord Bishop, the Dean of uh, St. James Cathedral, Harrow, and your team, fellow mourners like me, I think it's better I speak in young college because I represent the old generation. So I claim. Yoni Zaha Kakriso Kia Gamba Queen Amra Mramwanj. Nanyanji Kugamba Konka Geoffrey insisting on the government of Kanga. Kanga is a reason why we are going to go to the fresh. Mumogwan and Okwe was a George Kuruat. Shurum Kazi, I know you. You only Shasha, I woke up, I cannot to Arankabana. We are sharing the Rizo akana ba tu echele vyo kulia, sika tu inevyo kulia ta a, inevyo mano wa mawe. By the way, I happen to have married, have been married to her young sister. So niyo, kuchu wa nevi biyo nevi ngamba ni mbesi ingari evi. Tuma shuka, tuma tauro. Take away. But since John, when we come to the which of you now, maybe in Chatterguy, maybe in Tibiomano or Mao, a Katakamata Gaida, Mine, Concacamwe, Tomano or Mao. Okay, just Sassay, Ida Pia Sassay. Now you are Tanka Kusubana Sasha. I don't want to go to Nairobi, but young work could be. As a chariot, Ramchara, when you know Kutavaji, Akana, Kana, Teka, Tekatin, Tuskavaji, Ramunava, Saptara, a whole million scared to Shangaya, yes. Concar Hangayam Quasaho, Yam Quatraho, Yagar Kuruk. When Yoni Mushka and Yuman, Yatiamba High School, and Shoma, Mavana, fascinated by many things. Concar, for some reason, which I don't have, I don't know why, and just don't feel. <laughs> And happy about it. I remember seeing a smart woman in a red Fiat. I think there were small, I don't know whether they were calling them mini Fiats, but a, a very small, beautiful woman. And smart. I don't know why I had the feeling of smartness, because I didn't know how, 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 how smartness, but somehow I feel she was smart. Oh. So we used to wonder, who is this? They say she's a representative of the Omukabe on the, on the board. I don't know which board it was at that time. So Omcharo Mbrokebio, Kobu Kapriso Kuyagam, Hoanasaku Fugemotoka, Hoanasaku Zarchi Korwengabo, Aka representing Omukabe, Omkuruanya Choji. Okoshirumkazwaman. Kunkanagumani in suspicious piece of Shizo Guan Kundra, Chitakman Yang were hunger, come with Choncho, Nawicho Kun. Umunto Matakuzomonzo, Akakunda Van to Akiza, no Akabi Kadabam Babidi, or Akabi Takuba Kun. So Kumoko Kunda Kwakum Charo, Nakunku Pinaka Quatano, my way, my George. George didn't see ma, in Yakan Kosurum Shog see me. I go Kunkura, Kantuarum Fellowship, a year hunger and your chin at Tunjish and Chokuzum. 
kan da su gudu muan kun ka ka ba ka na na bi jirin kuna kusa na zombi kun ka kuba jirin bible study na re banguru yesu ai ba marangi rire to ya zari we na bo ce ba rangi ro ku koto ka ku na ho ta ku ja koto ce har yizo mo ku ku ja nisha kun ka na wasa ku ta yizo brevi tu na bo ce ce ande to ku ja ngum sheme ku bisho ku ngum sheme ku kura tu tu ci ri zo bi tu ku ci ri za tu ku re tu tu ri am tu ni ku si ma jo ci um be ri rum zi ri um be ri rum na nu an ci ka su e rum ka zo mu rum ci um ka zo go ya na sha na nu an ci na ngo an ci na sha ta ga ku mu rum na ka na e bu ma na ku pe wa we na ku na ba ni te ka te ka na ni te ka te ka te te pa tu me te im val me te ku na jang ba ka ti ku ra ka re ba ka we mbe ma mu he ri za ni ci ra bo she she deserves a medal from the environment kuna benta ho kuna jiro makere munju oko no raba nko murfunju ora bo miti kuza kuta ho munju meseji ha ngo ni birunye ibinaka ndamuka banza gamera umucara tubitu banya ko wa joji ko kuza yu no no ebshaka bijura ba ruha ntona na ushaka no raba ushaka no ta ho munju Mbwe nkuna ni nde ba na 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 re ba na je nzana ku kure ba na mujire ba na yo mure ba na ba e shaka na bije tori so na deserving ka be na deserving a medal ya we ku rwo mu environment bwe ni nyowe nta ba ti kwa na mu basiwe yo ezanje no kusima rahanga rango wa twiro mu cyaro rango wa twira makago mu cyaro gwa kurgamo ha ko ati kumanya ngo ibiti nyina mas ku ngo ibya ko ibya bena akora ndukarga bine besi ya binyuma Aku kau tu suka nanya biar biar tahu aja, nabiar biar jauh aja, nabiar biar gua aja. Perana si marang, tiap hari nak kau si biar bisho ku. Ima anggo ini atau saya atau ini binjai aku kara. Ini muka aja, nak kau main rezeki cuma rezeki aja. Aku mengurayaz, mengur tarjuk suara, na wejo tarjuk zare, na bawa bawa Amerika, na bawa bawa na bawa Amerika. Na wacha ni njia nguo rede ya yuko kwa yego, yuko mstaji ya wawa marika. Ile nzuri jeno rende ni ile zako pia na bjeneje. May God bless you all. Thank you, Uncle James. Um, yesterday, yesterday I read the speech from. Uh, Don Rukari, who is the heir under the lineage of the Habu Kwasis of family. It's a short speech, so I'll read that one again just before I invite Uncle George uh, to speak as the final speaker, and then I will hand over back to the church. <coughs> uh, Don is not here, unfortunately, but he is with the family. He has spoken with each and every one of you. As her godson from the Rukare and Habu Kwatsizo family, we have lost our remaining loving auntie, Auntie Kasai. We shall always remember her for her elegance, smartness, warmth, kindness, and words of encouragement. We pray God gives Uncle George, our sisters, Juliet, Joy, Jackie, brothers, Geoffrey and Gordon and your families the strength to go through this very difficult time. May she rest in peace and that's from Donald Rukare on behalf of the Habu Kwasizo family. There are several other condolence messages that we have received but again in, uh, in observing time we will again hand them over to the family their personal messages uh, and they have already been alerted as to the family. Uh, having said that, I think we will now hear from Uncle George who will also give his speech from where he is. My Lord, the Bishop of Ankole, the Right Reverend, 
Dr. Sheldon Wesbo, the Dean of the Cathedral, the other clergy, and the mourners. I would like to start by thanking you all for coming to be with us and saying farewell to my wife, to our mommy, to our grandma, and great-grandma. I notice that you have come from different parts of the world. We have some who have come from the United States of America, they are here. Kenya sent a very big delegation, mainly because of where our daughter is married. It was a big delegation which came here. There are so many people who have come from Kampala. We are with them in Kampala, and they still came and they are here. And there are so many who have come from different parts of Ankole, especially from the Barara area, Toma, Mubare, Kashaka, Repogo, many other parts. You are all here. And we appreciate this. I got surprised and felt that uh, my wife was a great friend who touched many people. Especially when I saw people like uh, Florence, Mogasha, I normally call her Kawazungu. I saw people like Mother, that's the mother in law of Juliet. People and some others who have not been feeling well, who have not been leaving their houses, but they have tried their best to leave their houses, not only to come to Kampala, but even to come to Mbarara as well. So I really thank all of you for loving us so much. I would like to thank all those who have already been thanked by my daughter-in-law, Annette, all those who have contributed generously for this occasion. I would like to join her in really thanking you people. When we started, I remember after we had appointed Annette as the, as the treasurer, putting her aside and said, after the first meeting, how much money did you get? What is your budget? So the budget is so much, a lot of millions. And at that time, she had, correct, she had not corrected much. So I said, well, I hope we are going to manage. And she said, no, 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 we shall manage. That should not worry you. We are going to manage. 
Now, yesterday I asked her, I said, how are we managing? You know, I saw this, the, 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 the funeral car going up and down and all that. And I started calculating, saying, now how much money are we really going to pay for this? And she told me, We are going to pay for all expenses and there is money which is going to be left behind. So I really thank you people. I thank you people because you have contributed money and this has enabled us to go through this function well. I would like to really thank the, the clergy here and even in Kampala or Saints Cathedral. These people have really been with us and have supported us so much. In Kampala, we had had some of the clergy coming home very often to pray with us, give us our communion, and uh, we are very grateful. But when she passed on, I think we had about two vigils, and they were there. And in the service, we had the assistant bishop, we had the, the, the clergy, all of them there. Now here, as Jackie was saying, they have been coming here almost every night ever since she died. And yesterday when we arrived, they were here ready to receive us and we had a wonderful service. And now here, we have no less than the bishop himself coming to be with us, with the dean and the other clergy. So we are very grateful to you people, and we don't take this for granted. Thank you so much. Now, I accept when people say, we are there for you, we shall be with you. I accept those beautiful words. But how real they can be, I am not sure. Because I don't see anybody who can feel her place. Probably, well, loving each other is a good thing, and then probably it can be bad when one goes and another one is left behind. But we have to accept this. This is God's arrangement. There is not much we can do. As the dean said, yes, I said, she has gone, but she has gone to be with the Lord. I meant it. Because I have been with her long enough to know who she is. I know she loved God very much. She loved God. She has been saved for a long time and she has not walked backwards. 
from her own words, from what she has been telling us, she was saved when she was eight years old. At that time in their home, her brother, the late professor, Uncle Inoka, had got saved and was followed by her sister, Janet Naughty, and she also decided to get saved. She came to her father to let her father know, the daddy, I'm now saved. Now the daddy, unfortunately, at that time was not saved. So he looked at her and said, what are you talking about? Saved, saved from what? What sins could, can you have done at eight? She said, well, I use it sometimes to get some little money from your pocket for groundnuts, but now I'll never do it again. She said, ah. I think it's because you have heard that those who are saved, the girls, can eat chicken and eat pork. Probably that's what you want to go and eat. Go away, go to dress up and go to school. Fortunately, the father got, got saved later on. So from that time, she remained saved it was a time of or when the revival was really planting its roots in Ankole. And uh, as she grew up a bit, the Ibarokole was very, very proud of her and used to go with her to conventions in Kawari and everywhere. And I uh, really liked her. Now, for those who are in Kampara, I told you, I told them the story of how I got to know her. And this is a story which I have loved so much, I have repeated many times. So if you have already heard it, excuse me, those who have not heard it will hear it. But it was in 1953 when I was a final year, st final year student at Nyakasura that our students' organization called Banyankole Banyachigezi students' organization decided to visit Chirwambi. Now at that time, Nyakasura was the only secondary school in the whole of the Western region. And Chirwambi was the only junior secondary school for girls in the whole of the Western region. So we decided to visit our girls. Our girls meant girls from Chigezi and from Ankole. And I happened to be the chairman. So I had to give a speech. Now as I talked, the students seated in front of me, mainly girls from Chevambi. My eyes fell on this lady. Normally, ladies did not move me much. And even up to that stage, I did not have a girlfriend. But when I looked at this lady, my heart just... Uh, I said, who is that lady there? 
I did not know her name. I did not know where she came from. So I said, when we get out, I will try to talk to her, find out her name, and also find out where she comes from. Now, after the formal meeting, when we got out, they had prepared a reception for us. I went around, I looked for the lady, I could not see her. I thought probably my eyes had deceived me because she was very different, very different from the other ladies who were there. And of course, I could not ask anybody, how do you ask? You don't know the name of the person that what? So I, I went back to Nyakasura, a disappointed man. But I remember praying to God or telling God, if you want me to see that lady again, please give me another chance. Now, I then asked some of my friends who used to go to Chewambi almost every weekend. Me, I had never gone to Chewambi. That was the first time and actually the last. I described the lady, they said, oh, we know the lady. She is very rude. She's a very bad lady. Very proud, Mnyankore. She calls herself from Rokore. When you write a letter to her, she just finds the name of the person who has written and then writes on the envelope, please return to the sender. Mr. So and so, CEO of Nyakasura School. So after a week, while waiting for a reply, you get back your letter. So this is why they were calling her rude and stubborn and all that. Now I said, eh? Hey, so that's the kind of lady. But then later on, I said, probably, if this, letter, this lady is returning letters to the boys writing to her, and then she calls herself broccoli, probably this is the lady I should associate with. And we got an opportunity very soon when it was announced that they were going to be singing competitions in Kampala, and Chirwambe would send a team, and Nyakasura was to send a choir as well. We were to travel with the same bus and be accommodated at Makere College School. Of course, I didn't know whether she would be born this bus or not. But when the bus came to collect us after they had collected the ladies, when I entered the bus, I saw her. I said, this is the lady I saw. But then she was so serious reading her book, not looking around to look at anybody. Reading her book, and when not reading the book, looking outside through the window. So anyway, I sat in a place where you could see her well, hoping that uh, probably when she turns to look around, she will also look at my eyes. <laughs> but she did not. So we went up to Makere College School. They gave them their dormitory. They gave us ours. <coughs> Now, two days later, I felt I was in my room. I felt I should go outside and have some fresh air. I walked, went and walked a bit and then sat down on uh, a pavement. While there, I saw a lady coming from one corner of the compound rushing to the, do to the girls' dormitory. 
As she approached, I saw that she was ready. So I stood up and went to where I thought she was going to pass. And when she came near me, I said, Madam, could I talk to you, please? She looked at me from the head to the <laughs> and said, to me, and he said, yes, to you. He said, okay, say what you want to say. I said, do you mind sitting down? I would like to ask you a question or two. She hesitated, and then later on said, okay, she sat down. I said, I'm George Chugo from Nyakasura. And she said, I'm Joyce from Chevambi. I said, I'm from Ankore, Nikashari. She said, I'm also from Ankore, Nikashari. I said, eh, hey, probably I know your parents. What did they do? Do you mind telling me? She said, eh, Mr. Hapkwas. I said, but I know that one very well. He was a Gombora chief, where my father was a Muruka chief before he died. And uh, we used even to visit your home. Now, she did not want me to go on for long. She asked me, may I ask you? I said, yes. Are you saved? I said, well, I'm not. But I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, she was standing up. She said, I'm sorry, it's getting late. You have asked me, I have answered you, so let me go. So she walked away. And uh, that was the last chance I saw her because at the end of the year, I left Yakasura as I went to Makere. And then after about two years, I was, someone told me she had been admitted at Chambogo Domestic Science Teachers College. Now I said, how do I go there? But then fortunately, I had a friend who had a girlfriend at Chambogo. And that girlfriend happened to have the same name as my wife here from Kavali. So we tried now through my friend to go through his girlfriend to persuade her to allow me to visit her. It took a bit of time, but later on, I was told I could go. So I dressed myself up and went to the hostel. I found a small girl outside. I said, please, do you know the lady called uh, Joyce Chavishchi? She said, oh, her head girl. I will go and tell her. So she ran into the dormitory, and after five minutes, she came. She took me to the students' common room in one of the corners, and uh, gave me some drink. Then after that, we started talking. We talked about our families. I learned that her mother died in 1949, which was the same year my father also died. Then we talked about what courses we were doing and that kind of thing. But then she again brought up the question of my being saved. I told her, I'm not yet saved, but I am a good boy. I don't drink, which was true. 
I don't drink, I don't smoke. I'm not interested in ladies. <laughs> that one was different. <laughs> She says, no, those are good qualities, but unless you confess Jesus to be your Lord and Savior, those other qualities will not help you. Well, later on, we ended up on a happy note. I went back, back to Makere, and I said, I think now if I write, she's not going to return my letter. So I wrote a small note, just thanking her for receiving me and for entertaining me. Uh, hoping we shall, I hope we shall have another opportunity, you know, that kind of thing. Remember those days, there were no telephones. The only channel of communication was letters. So I waited for about a week, and then I received a reply. I looked at the envelope. It was a lady's handwriting. I knew it was her. And I opened, and she was also thanking me for going, going there. And we started from there. Now, as we went on, news came to Ankole, especially the born again Christians. They were very much disturbed to see that uh, their girl was being befriended by a man who was not saved. And they had many meetings with her. She did not say much, but they told her a lot. A believer cannot walk with an unbeliever you are being surrounded by a poisonous snake. It's going to bite you and you are going to die. So you better run, run away from it as soon as possible. And these were words which were very true, where could probably could be true. But I think she soon proved that some of these words were not quite correct as far as I was concerned. Because the few occasions we met, I knew she was saved. I knew she was getting these, three, these words. And so I behaved myself in such a, one, such a manner that it was like a meeting between a brother and a sister. And I think that gave her some little confidence. So we went on, but later on they decided to have a, a big meeting attended even by people from Kampala. People like uh, Reverend Chigozi, who was the coordinator of youths who are saved in the whole of Uganda. Uh, then uh, Bishop Sabiti and uh, so many others who were important. They brought her, into, they called her, she came to the meeting. They met her until about 3 a.m. And by the end of that time, they had made her convinced that she should drop me. So she wrote a letter saying since I had refused to get saved, we were no longer friends. That was her letter, her last letter to me, and I should not write a letter to her. Now that letter came to me at a very bad time. We are going to do our final exams, final degree exams. And I, I already had that fever of the exams. Now the letter made it worse. 
and was in a way that really affected my life because I, I found it very difficult to eat well, to, to sleep. I developed ulcers, very serious ulcers. And when I was walking to my room in Northcote Hall, just before my room, I fell down unconscious. When I woke up, I was at Mulago Hospital. I asked, I said, what is happening? There were drips all over my body. They told me, you are lucky to be alive because your hemoglobin had gone down almost to zero. Meanwhile, while in this state, the time of exams also came. I missed two papers, but my lecturers were sure that I could do the rest of the papers. There were 10 papers to do. So they prepared the minimum lago, and they brought the papers to me there. And later on, I was told I did those papers well and Senate filed it. Easy to give me my degree, but I had to stay there for another, uh, for another year for the postgraduate diploma in education. But when I was at Mulago, She decided to come and see me. Although she had written that letter, when I saw her, I was very much strengthened. <laughs> and I think I recovered more quickly because of that. <laughs> So when I came out of hospital, I wrote an, a letter to her asking her for coming to see me in hospital. And she wrote back thanking God for my recovery. And then we started again. <laughs> but it was becoming a little difficult to see how we are going to, to end this. So I thought it necessary to write to her brother, Professor Uncle Enoch Rukare, who was a friend of mine. He was in London doing his master's degree, and I wrote to him, explained a lot, and uh, asked him to let the family to allow me to get married to her. Professor Kwani took a bit of time before answering, but when he answered, he wrote to his father, and said, I think, if George and Joyce are in love, let us leave them to get married, and we shall continue praying for George to get saved. The father fortunately accepted this, and they went through the traditional things. And on the 6th of May, 1961, we had a wonderful wedding. <clears throat> at St. James Cathedral here. But I had told Joyce that I would get saved, although I didn't know when. Now, for me, at that time, and even probably now, what I believe was that being saved should come from the bottom of my heart. 
it should not be imposed on me because of this and that. And uh, I knew time would come when this would come. So we went on. She went on reminding me almost every day, you promised to get saved. When are you going to be saved? And I promised saying, please hold on. I will get saved. We had our children, all of them. Then, many of the, in fact, almost all of them started being influenced by her and getting saved. So I nearly found myself alone in the house who was not saved. One of them challenged me. This Jackie you saw the, there. Sometimes she can be stubborn. Said, but daddy, we know you are saved because they thought I was saved. I think the way I was behaving. Mommy tells us she was saved when she was eight. When were you, you were of saved? And it was a challenging question which I could not answer. I brought in other things, but I remained thinking about it. Now, 30 years into our marriage, after 30 years, the chaplain of St. Francis Chapel, Reverend Canon Mgarra Mutana, came to visit us at our house in Makere. It was not the first time he usually did, and uh, we prayed together and uh, they went. But this time she had a, a different reason for coming. She told us, he told us that the Archbishop of Uganda, His Grace Yona Okoth at that time, was coming to visit the chapel and to confirm some Christians. And he wanted us to prepare lunch for the Archbishop at our house. Now, although it was a big request, but it was a request which one can never turn down. So we agreed. And when the Sunday came, my wife decided to remain at home, said, let me make sure the lunch is ready by the time you come. Uh, but for me, I said, let me go. So I went to attend the service. It was a Pentecostal Sunday. The Archbishop came. He confirmed the candidates and then he went to preach. I don't know what happened to me. I had listened to so many preachers, including Chevangeli and others, so many of them. But the preaching of this archbishop surprised me. Every word he spoke went down to the bottom of my heart and made me regret and fear the what? I said, eh? So I have been rejecting the Holy Spirit? I really felt myself guilty. And I think if there was an altar call, I would have moved forward. But there wasn't, the service ended, and we went home for the lunch. Three people were to speak, head of the lady, the chaplain, and the archbishop. 
head of la the latest started speaking. Then, in the middle of his speech, I felt uneasy. And a voice came to me and said, George, this is the time for you to stand up and confess to all these other people and tell them you are a born again Christian. Then another voice came, said, no, 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 you can't do that. This is an important meeting, Archbishop is there, the what? How do you disturb the person who is talking? I agreed with that voice. <laughs> then when he finished, the chaplain started speaking. The voice came back very strongly and they said, don't fear. This is your time. The chaplain will give you an opportunity to say something. Stand up and I tell everybody you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I hesitated a bit. It said, don't stand up. And very much unlike me, because as many people were saying here, yeah, I'm a quiet person and that kind of thing. I stood up like a madman. And everybody turned. They didn't know what was happening. And the chaplain who was talking also turned and looked at me. I said, Mr. Chaplain, please allow me to stay, say one word and then you continue with your speech. He looked at the Archbishop and I think the Archbishop gave him a nod, a nod to allow me. So he sat down and I started with the story of Zacchaeus. That short man, the tax collector, who had wanted to see Jesus for a long time, but he couldn't because of the crowds and he was a, not a strong man. But later on, he decided to go and climb a tree and said, well, if he's passing down here, at least I will look at him. But when Jesus looked at that place, he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down. I'm go Today we are going to your place. They went to his place and Zacchaeus was saved. So I told them that this is my time. I have been for a long time wanting to meet Jesus, but it has not been possible. Now I would like to tell everybody that I am now from today a born again Christian. Yes, but probably before that time, I, there's something I would like to tell you. I had advisors of two types especially after my hospital. One group of advisors was saying, but George, do you want to die because of that girl? There are so many girls in Uganda who can even help you to choose someone who might even be better than that girl. Why don't you forget about her? I said, I'm sorry. If I don't get her, it will take me another 10 to 15 years before I start looking for another one. That was the first group. The second group said, but George, what is difficult? Just stand up and say you are saved. 
get married, and then you can do what you want after that. I said, no, I'm not going to do that. If I did that, I would be deceiving myself. I would be deceiving Joyce, and I would be deceiving God. So I will wait until that time comes. Now, when that time came, there was a lot of excitement in the room. Everybody stood up and started singing, took tender and the rest of it. And when I turned, turned, I found myself in the bosom of the archbishop, then in the bosom of the chaplain. And I said, now let me embrace my wife. We were seated in each other. When I turned to her, she was crying. She was in tears. And I could understand why. And I thanked God that I had got saved when her brother, Professor Rukare, was still alive. And when her father was still alive. And from that time, the love that we had had, because we had never had any problem at all, even during those 30 years. When she wanted to go for a fellowship, I would, when we had one car, I would take her, drop her there, and then later on go and collect her. But when we got two cars, she would just drive there and come back any time after their function. So we never had any problem at all. But now, after being saved, actually our love went another step up. And uh, I really thank God for this lady. I thank God for showing this lady to me because I don't know, I have been looking at some homes and uh, what, and uh, wondering what is happening because we have never had that kind of experience. We loved each other from the time we met, and we have, we have loved each other well, we are told that it was the, uh, last Wednesday when death separated us. But I, I thank her for loving me. I thank her for what she went through was not easy. That meant she really loved me and I loved her. If I say I still love her, I will be deceiving myself because she's not there. But uh, I thank you all people for coming to be with me. I need your prayers because the love of Joyce spoiled me. She did not want me to go to the kitchen. And if you tell me now to go to the kitchen and make an egg, I will not make it because I don't know how to do it. So I'm left in space. But God is with me. And uh, I believe my children will be with me. And to the children, I would like to, of course, you know that you have lost a mother. 
she really loved you. She loved you. And uh, she probably, I might say, she thought more about you than me, than me thinking about you. Now, she knew all the dates when these children were born, and even the grandchildren. She had a small notebook. This date is the birthday of this one. This date, and I would see her reminding me. Oh, do you know? I said no. Next week on Tuesday, it is so and so's birthday. I said, eh, hey, I didn't. And then we discuss and say, okay, what do we do? We need a cake, we need this. And we agree on how to do that. Now, I want to tell you children, I don't know your dates. <laughs> so if you want a cake from me, let me know a week before. <laughs> that next week is my birthday. If you don't let me know, don't expect anything because I will not know. So those are some of the things you have missed, but God is with us. Once again, thank you so much, you people, for what you have done for us, for coming to be with us, for your contributions, for your prayers, we are very grateful. Thank you very much. Thank you, Uncle George. We thank the Lord for the strength that he has given you and the family. Um, we have now come to the end of that portion of this service. Uh, we thank you for bearing with us. Everybody is still here. We thank you for that. We don't take it for granted. <clears throat> so before I hand over back to the church, uh, I'd just like to make a quick announcement. After this, after this service, we will then go and lay Auntie in her final resting place on this earth. That's at the house. But because of the numbers that we have, we are firmly requesting that you let the family and the church, the immediate family and the church, because you know now, because of the rain and all that, it's quite slippery and it's a small area. So we firmly request that you allow the family, immediate family, and the church to go down and lay anti to rest. We can then go after that. And when I say after that, I mean at least 20 or 30 minutes after that because it takes some time there and we do not want too much crowding. I hope that request is acceptable to everybody. Um, for anything that has not gone as planned, especially with time, we apologize. I will accept your complaints on PO Box 1, Kashari. Thank you very much. I wanted that fire from this big man because the fire of revival. I didn't want that fire to go back. So I wanted us to sing to Mutenderize as we receive our Lord the Bishop so that he closes the fire up as he does preach to us this evening. Kote Tendereza Yesu. Yes, sorry, Mwana Gwandega. Yes, so Gonaziza. Let us pray. Our dear loving Lord, we thank you for this time together to be able to say farewell to a gallant lady, Joyce. We thank you for her life. We thank you for the fight that she has 
been able to engage in and we thank you for the final rest moment and we thank you for all the testimonies and we pray that Lord you help us to have a message that will put all in context so that we shall get more nearer to you than ever before because that's the purpose of the word of the Lord through Christ our Lord we pray praise the Lord uh, the MC mentioned it that it can be any language I got so mixed up but eventually I found myself picking the English Bible although initially I had the Renyal Kwede I will try to do a mix because there are many of our people here you even had some from Kenya even some who stay in Kampala don't know Renyal Kwede I have a nephew of mine who studied medicine he grew up in Kampala and then he was posted to Mbarara and he didn't know Renyankwere, Renyankwere. So he said, I need to learn Renyankwere. So we were trying to see how to organize, to look for books like Ishekatavazi. Like, uh, I think if we want to avoid that, always try your level best to get your children to come over during Easter, Christmas. The Nganua family does it uh, a lot. They try their best that all the children and relatives and everybody they have a moment where everybody is expected to come but of course they all don't come but I think it's a good one when I was a, a lecturer at Mukono Christmas I had to move to Uganda, my home area the only time I didn't move is when there was Ebola I went prayed from All Saints Kampala uh, that was the only time it is always very good so that we touch base and get these stories you which you've heard some of you what a story from George Chihuguru what a story that is a great story but at the same time I think Umami Chris Rokasis in Wea Chigamba the name Chihuguru even some of us who never went to Makere University or other people who never went to Makere University you hear the name Chiguru, Uncle George Chiguru. Shakespeare, of course, says, What is in a name? But I think there is much more in a name. Because when you say Chiguru, you are associating it to gentleness, you are associating it to accomplishments, you are associating it to success, you are associating it to everything that is good. Seriously. Yeah. That's what it is. Proverbs 22 verse 1. Izina runji nilichira mabari gobu guzi winji. Awa nyayu gana nima kuunda mabari gobu guzi winji nima kuunde sente nima kuunka mkuundi zina runji. A good name is worth more than precious jewels or rubies. A good name. How I wish Ugandans would love to strive to make a good name a legacy like this which we have here so these words are fitting which I see here I have fought a good fight I have fought the good fight I have finished the race I have kept the faith what a fight she had to go through you've had the whole history of the growing up. Bakarabombi into being a man of Mia Kayabo. No Korabana, no Kubare Vera, Namwenemino de Minji, you take a take and go Zire beat. Na Omzire Kwakundoma, Nakwakum Fahoka, Na Sharuka Homa Garage. A parent, there is something that is eaten away from your life because of your children. As you grow them, as you counsel them, as you guide them. And for people like this, it goes beyond even not only to the children, now even to the grandchildren. If they can know even the birthdays, they, you mean they are not going to know the challenges and problems that are going on in the family among the children and the grandchildren and the grand, great-grandchildren. They do. 
and there is a bit that gets eaten away little by little how I pray the good Lord blesses us children and grandchildren to make our parents happy in all ways that we can I have fought a good fight the time in which these people lived also I was seated here and reflecting this lady could have been like a judge she could have been like like what what else a judge or uh -huh, an engineer you know she did domestic science do you know what domestic science means it means the science of the kitchen that was the science that was exposed to them at the time she not only did domestic science at a diploma level she went for advanced domestic science tutelage in in australia my when they advanced a bit the women they moved from domestic science to home economics home economics means in the home so other men you were doing other economics engineering and flight left night and for them they were doing domestic but they also got domestic wisdom I think from what they were describing there are some things there and by the way most of this we got from the Bazungu one of the greatest disservices the Europeans did the Christian missionaries was the overemphasis on nurturing the woman and ignoring the man the concept was boys will be boys in my thinking boys will be the governors boys will be the administrators women will be do in the domestic in the kitchen domestic science home economics when it got advanced these days i think they call it food and nutrition at least it is gender neutral now as a result many of these missed out on being probably different people mother's union in church is 100 or 130 years or something and the women were looked after guided emichwe entwaza men and that's why we are suffering because we are living in a generation where we have men are becoming an endangered species in terms of being equipped with the skills for managing skills for communication skills for success in life ntshaba abazire tuongere kutomtuma habana babojo abishchi batirwe humdongo mtuma ne kanise kabata humtuma mnonga ko nkatu birebire hati tutandikire no butira tucerirwe tukuza kucererwa mnonga nicho kurebera ngo bundi no gumwishchi akajunurwe ubunda bujo bakabata kubafa ku mnonga bam protecting but we thank God she fought a good fight a good fight even of marriage this was a big fight which she had to fight the one of revival versus the choice of a marriage partner by the way when you go read first Corinthians chapter 7 Paul wrestles with this question should a, 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 a Christian get married to a non-believer Paul wrestles with it but somewhere in verse 17 says who knows maybe the born again wife will change the husband or the other way around I don't know whether they were recording of that time the revival of Akaba Takuchere Bakokani Jabi Nechibabi in Baronda Omushana Tukukuzwana Nachi No Muirwa yeah also there is progressive revelation so probably they missed out on that because we thank God finally Kandi George Chuguru no we have it there is by the way natural goodness a Utah I may have worked I'm an old man I'm 60 I got saved at 24 but I've worked for government I'm a retired I'm a pensioner by the way I've worked with people but I've seen some people who are not born again, their character much better than some of the born again. I testify about that. And some have worked with them. 
I'm not saying you hide in that and say, aha, uh -huh, even the bishop said it. Why do I need to get saved? He ni chikubura mu ni weno yete ngo moyo wa ranga ngo wa yeshururire George Chuguru aketisa. You need that. But I know some of you are so good, so nice, so good intentioned, but and sometimes some of us we say we are born again. They're very heavy. Ah, yeah, yeah. All shades and sizes. Salvation comes in all shades and sizes. In the olden times, when someone would get saved, people praise, they get excited. They get... But these days, you get worried. Where did he or she get saved from? Some things are very, I'm saying things which are very serious. And I mean it. Because some people get saved, but you rather, in fact, for me, I reach a point and say, someone would rather not get saved than get saved and be in certain theologies and teachings that are out of this world. And I mean it. And actually when I retire, one of the books I want to write is Lost in the House of God. I have the experiences. I taught young people at Intari here. I've seen things. And I say, what is this? But we thank God for this people who gave their lives to Christ old time religion there is something to learn from the old time religion and some of us have really brushed it aside and we seem to look down upon it it doesn't seem to add up to anything but there is something we miss in it and I could see that this lady had a great testimony she went through difficult challenges but life is to be lived what matters is the testimony. You can preach. You can have power of the Holy Spirit on you. But after you have been slain by the Holy Spirit and you relate with other people, what are they going to see? Ebzuma, eventually got to accept Jesus. And by the way, I've done some little research. Almost all, in almost all cases, seven out of ten, it is the woman who first gets saved, and then the man gets saved. When a woman gets saved very well, I've seen it. I've tried to... to, to gather some data on it. The problem is when we get saved badly. Eventually, no more no already she again stood firm so I have fought a good fight I have finished the race of looking after children grandchildren of loving people good neighborliness of doing service to society when she was at Makerere and all saints church Kampala the Chihugurus have always been there even when I was at UCU even before he became a bishop, when he still had energy, and there were meetings for Ankole Diocese, he was always there, and he was always supportive with his wife. And I thank God that they have kept also the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only me, but also to all who have longed for his appearance. Tuena tutejerize. Owire obuku za kushika. Tuze kuozi yebi juwaro yitu. Tushemeze. Nobu ndi bishopu ni nite kwa kushemeza. Tishikuma nisangu naba ndi bishopu echo ni chimara. Noba bishopu niwe no shobya. No korebita shichiri. Niwe no wa corrupt. Awokuba we have power. We have influence. You can do anything. A title doesn't change anything. What changes is who you are when you know God, we love God, and serve him. Thank God for Chuguru, such legacy, 
such name may we all desire to have such a name such a legacy of knowing God loving him serving him and not leaving behind a trail of scandals a trail of corruption stories a trail of unfaithfulness a trail of hatred a trail of dissatisfaction with those whom we worked with may the Lord bless you mightily and may the Lord give good rest to our sister here and our mother and our grandmother Joyce in the name of God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Heavenly Father we thank you so much for being able to say farewell to Joyce forgive us where we have gotten it wrong where we have gone wrong especially we all believers of all shades shapes and sizes may you help us to live a righteous life a life that is noble which we even learn from someone who was not yet born again yet he lived a life showing principles honesty and faithfulness sometimes even when we know you and love you and are born again we tell lies we are not faithful we are not we cannot be trusted lord may you help us to cleanse us and purify us may you help us to emulate the great example these great ladies were able to exhibit of having standards below which they could not go these days anything goes may we have certain standards lord in our community in our society and we thank you Obundi, tuwabasize kujira boku bahuera, aboku bahavura. Na mbwenu, na George, asa kushanga, hakati ine boku mahavura je, noku mahuera je. E mkagei ya vira ine, obundi kate kwa mwombe kaje. Kanda vishichi, merundi minji, nubahuera, nubahuera wa nabazire babo. Bahuera wa za fellowship sezibarumu, community sezibarumu. Mbwenu, yonjera kutuwebe mbera. Kanda muheru kwa aviona, ihangari itu tuliombe ke. Nkore yitu tujombe ke Osimwe kando hawechi tinisa Kristo kama witu Kando usinje buarhanga Buri njero kwetejiza kumuntu wena Buri nde mtumayanyo nubu enje buwanyo Mugumenu mmanyarhanga kando mkunda Nubu ana wesi Kristo mkama witu Omu jisha guarhango Vushoboro zugona tatetwe Nubu ana nubu eru kwera Gumeni mwena kando mchogu Wenjere guma arfamire jaya chuguru Wenjere guma Arumwena, abija kwata nsanabu, umjishogo, gumeni itetuena, hati, nebiro viona. Amina. Kote, tende, reza, yesu, yesore, mwana gwandega, omosai gwego, gona zeza, tuwe waza, omulo. Okufwa, kwa baru kwera, nukobu guzi winji. Bito mwubu tekubu liyaha. Hallelujah. Mwenu tuwaza kutuwaza siti abishe. Tuwaza kuguma. Nko kutuyo mnyanya yitu. Nko kutuija. Nustahamu. Nko tukuza garakayo. And we as congregation. We shall stand. Remain. We have been seated. We shall remain. Then we shall allow the clergy and the church. The bishop leading us. First with the choir. Then the casket, uh, the funeral, the A plus follow, and the family will follow. That's how we shall go. Then the rest, we shall come after mpora mpora, order. You wish him joy, some to Jesusa. Ah, I'm here. Now we just have a question. Gora choir, uh, choir, please lead us now. You go in front, and uh, uh, we shall all stand. Awakure berra, awakai kurnu mugursi, mujireje. Kano kwe merra kwa ni tukuma nsagu mujende. Aha, no kwe shongora, ntukumantu jina mpora mpora. The bishop is leading us as we move to 
uh, the grave. God be with you till we meet again. God be with you till we meet again. Glory. Lord, you may the shepherd praise me for you. Lord, be with you till we meet again. Till we meet, till we meet, till we meet, till we meet at Jesus' feet. Till we meet, till we meet, till we meet. God be with you. Emuri, Emuri, Emuji, the grandchildren and the. And relatives, please come and pick God this verse. be with you till we meet again. Unseen wing protect Since there are many, you can take two, two. You.
Omuntu ozarwa omukaze amara ebirobice omunse kandi aturi jure nako amera kandi atemwa nkikirabyo aho ahonke kicyutu kandi taguma mwanya gumwe kutuba tsiryo magaraga tubatiryo mkufa bwentunjari yoha kureka hariwe mukama hazogwererwe kubi ebi byeitu no singa gokai mukama rango rkwera mnonga ai mukama obshobora zubona ai mukama bo itoro kwera wemba bazinyinji otatuhayo omukufokura mu buhuruzi obwebero nebero mukama we no manya emibona no yometima ye Oteita matugawe agembabaz okanga kuro kshaba kwe kwe kotsasire mukamo rwera munonga kango obushobora zubona omjuno rwera kandi wembabazi omuchwe manja ohishire kandi otabaho otatwikiriza kukurugaho omuna kugokfa ahabwo buhuruzi bwa rufu amina a nobata bode omuchina Echesho ngoro igana makumi ya bina mshangu. Echesho ngoro igana bina mshangu. Ogo nifete katecha bisho poku soro rano kumizamu. Aba kweje jera bona nime sika yesu. Timari garu kakufa no kuele kaku. Kabaka bomusi 
abarabe ni bagaruka yo bamwe ni baza kugendera mu nyonyi abandi ni bagendera mu motoka abandi ne bigere abandi na tuci umusha wa mkamogo gume ni mwe kandi mugume ni murwano kurwano kurungi kandi muri ndo kwikereza umushogo gume ni mu mwena hati nebero byona amina oryo momeko no ya yesu tajila chatina kandi kando mu rumurira mu yesu amarwa rukundo ye ibulira nimbulira amara kaso kawatu kandi seyo biva we songorera Nibari misabati Uri Oryo mumikono Ya ya Yesu Kaji na chatina Kandi Kano muhumu Uri la muhumu Amarwa rukuno ye Kumba 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 Tiwe Yesu Yesu Tinye wa masiko Tinye mereza Tinye mereza Momotima Ahako kufandida Nimanya Nimanya Kumacheriyo Ewinde vyo kunenga Kandi Kandi nevyo Kwebyo kusasa Nchiri wa mwenye jinsi Jofrey Amaze ikara azo mungu, abana tuena, uba lidinge, tuzo mungu. Again, boys can so skate up toward you, with his ship secure fold you, God be with you till we meet again, till we meet. Yeah.